Hey there, it's Ashley here with Grateful Art. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you guys want to learn more about art and how to paint, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when I make a new video. Since art is an expressive way to communicate, I would love for you guys to take what you learned from my tutorials and make your own art unique to you. The first step is that I painted this a metallic gold and you can see that it's going to be shimmery. You can spray paint this if you would like or just paint it with your acrylic straight on. So if you're going to spray paint this just make sure you use a water based acrylic. And once you're done with this then you can go on to the next step and make sure this is dry. So for this next step I'm going to mark the horizon line and I'm taking my flat brush that's just about the size of my finger and I'm going to grab some blue. So now I'm going to mark where it's going to be and I'm going to go up above where the half mark would be just right through here. And I'm going to make sure I go straight across. Now if you need something to help you go straight across you can use like your paper towel or something to just kind of give you a guide. So now you're going to paint the sky and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my palette knife and this is just personal preference and I'm going to start putting in some blue in this corner and some blue in this corner because I know I want that dark blue and the reason why I like to use a palette knife is I like the texture on there so you can use a palette knife if you like or you can just use a regular paintbrush or your flat brush that you were just using And I'm just going to kind of take the blue in like this. Alright, I'm going to wipe off my palette knife. And I'm going to move down to my lightest color, which is this light blue. So if you guys don't know the colors that I'm using, on my channel in the community section I have talked about this palette and how to get this exact colors for this palette so go ahead and you can go over there and check out that post in my community and I'll also leave the colors in the description below and I'm just following this up here Okay, and then I'm going to go to the side and I'm going to create some movement here. Just going to flatten that out a little bit. There we go. I actually don't want any of the gold to show right through there. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my yellow and I just cleaned off my palette knife. And I'm going to come in here with some of that yellow. This is the brightest part of the painting. I'm going to wipe off my palette knife. And I'm going to come into my red right over here. And kind of pull up. Okay. Now I'm going to take my flat brush and just because I want a little bit more control and a little bit more blending with this color. I'm going to grab my middle blue next to my grayish blue here and I'm just going to come in here and blend just a little bit these colors. And I'm going to leave some of that gold to show through. See how nice that is? So you can still get the palette knife effect but it's not. You have just some more control. I'm going to come into this just a little bit. Come over here.
Okay, and I'm going to take this gray, kind of bring in some of this right through here, and a little bit of my darker blue right through here. Okay. And you may be wondering what's going to happen right through here. I'm going to do the same thing with my brush. I'm just going to kind of blend a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to grab my white and soften through here. So I just dabbed on a little piece of white. Okay, and I want a lot of this gold to shine through here, so I'm just gonna barely add this yellow, just bringing it down. Okay. I'm just taking this right here and adding like a little bit of a cloud coming through here, like that, just to break it up a little bit. Okay, then when you're done with the sky, you're ready to go on to the island that's back here. Okay, so for the island part, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your flat brush and you can just add some yellow right straight onto that, where that's supposed to be, and then grab some of your red. Okay, go on this side too. Okay. And I like to wipe off my brush, grab some more of the red. Okay, so where the sun is shining, the colors right here, are it's not going to be as dark. It's going to pull in those colors from the sky. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that down to this line right here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my black, okay, because it's going to be pretty strong in here, back here, what it is. I'm going to start from the side. Okay. And there's trees back here, because this is inspired by sailboats that I saw in Washington. There's actually this island that's out here. We took the ferry out to it and there's it's just full of trees. It's beautiful. So I'm just gonna add those trees and how I do that is I turn my brush if you noticed and I just go down like this because you don't need to have so many details you just need it to kind of have the texture. But I want you guys to um, not do like every brush stroke I'm doing. I want you to be confident. <laughs> it's not that I want to make people angry. It's just, I mean, these are my original paintings and I want you to be original. Just because I know I've had a hard time being creative, letting go of what it's supposed to look like, you know, and I don't want you guys to go through the same thing. I'm just putting in the um, streaks of light right now. And how I'm doing that is I'm just pulling down. So now we're ready for the water. Okay, so for this step, just grab your flat brush that's been washed. Make sure mine's washed and dried. And then we're going to create a break between all this glowing stuff up here and what's coming next. So to do that, I grab my grayish blue and I'm going to put that right under here. I don't think there's ever a quiet day in my life. So if you can hear things outside, I'm so sorry. Welcome to my life. Okay. So I'm just pulling that across. And then I'm going to pull down to get rid of some of the texture. Right through there. Okay. Now I'm going to take my light blue and I'm going to make a transition right through here. So I'm just going across like this 
And then I grab my dark blue and I go right through here. Okay, and I can leave some of that metallic showing through. It looks nice there. And then the same thing on this side. Okay, that's, you're not done with the water yet, but you need to clean out your brush. Okay, and then I, because this is such a large area, I'm just gonna grab my palette knife and I'm gonna be adding gold or the yellow right through here. And I'm staying more to this side, so this section right through here. I'm just gonna pull it, leave some of that gold. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to my brush. I'm dipping it into my red color, and I'm going in right under here. And this is the reflection of the sunset on here, so. I'm going to go across like this, pulling as I go. I need more yellow right there. I'm going to grab some yellow right under here. I'm going to grab some of my white just to lighten the color right through here. I'm so sorry about the noise. This is what you get when you live in an RV. Doesn't that make you want to do it? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna pull that light color across and it just, it's gonna mix with my yellow. And that's what I want it to do. It just makes it into more of a buttery yellow. And this comes all the way over to here, but it's just barely. And I'm going across like this. These are those waves in the ocean. Leave some of that gold. You can always scrape off any paint too if you overdo it with the gold. Okay, I'm just gonna, cause these waves get a little bit thicker down here. I'm gonna thicken that up. And yeah, little teeny tiny ones right here. Okay, and actually I've decided to round this like this, like a pool. And round this down here and round this, okay? So I'm adding some movement into the water. All right, now I'm gonna wash my brush. Okay, and I'm gonna grab my dark blue. I'm gonna pull that color over here. Okay. I'm gonna go in between these like this. I'm just rounding these because that's what is happening <laughs> in the water. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my black. The reason for that is I need to bring some of this down here. Okay, darken that. And then do the same thing, darken this right over here then pull the other color of blue as well. And then I'm gonna come here and just do those tiny little things. And it stops about right here and then you have some more blue right here. Cause this right over here is all yellow. And it just kind of tapers to the side here where there's no blue. You can add some light blue your brush. Okay, and then come up here with that. Leave gold in between that spot and this spot. Okay. Now I'm going to look back and see what it needs. Okay, so now I'm going to add some of that gray blue and I'm going to add it right through here. Right, and I'm gonna go around these areas. Okay, this is that foamy stuff from 
the water. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Okay, and where the light shines off of it the most. So I'm just adding in that color. I can add it in as thick as I want. Okay, and I can leave that gold metallic there too. Coming through here and add it on the side of that. And right here. Kind of form that a little bit. Okay. Let's see. I kind of feel like this needs to come over just a little bit. I have to look back at it. Okay. And then a little that color right here. A little bit right there. And just a little bit under here. Okay. I'm going to grab my black and my blue. And I'm going to create just a little bit of a dark thing leading up to where the sailboat's going to be. So I'll lead my eye in. And just come in here with some of that dark. Okay. Now I'm going to go for my red. And this is all just by eye, so it's kind of a little bit all over the place. But that's just because that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to pull that across. And start making some waves through here with that red. Okay, and how I do that is I just pull it across and then I give it some movement. Like around, around. Like that. And then less down here with the red. So it should only be like one red coming down here. Okay. Then I have to look back at my painting again and see if there's anything that I don't like. Here. Kind of get that softness. Just doing swirly motions with my brush. This picture is from the back of a boat. So, <laughs> my reference photo. So actually the back of the boat is making this a little bit of texture in the water which I think it's pretty so I'm gonna put it on there so this last step is pretty simple all you're gonna need is your flat brush and then a round brush with a really teeny tiny point and what you just need to do is make sure that you get your sailboat in the right position okay so we want to have enough contrast that our sailboat pops out. So we have to move it over away from this black enough to see a little bit of the red and then right over here but you don't want it to be centered right in the middle. Okay so I'm going to make my pokes right here so that it can kind of give me a guideline. I might have too much on my brush. Okay I want to make sure I have enough room up here that I'm going to have some good sails. Okay, and then another poke comes in about down here. Okay, because the masts are different. Alright, and at any time if you need to take anything off, because I just got some stuff right here and I don't want that black on there, you can just go ahead and take it off with some water. Okay, so it can be more precise, all right? And then because flat brushes make such nice lines, I'm going to use my 
flat brush and I'm just dipping into my black you guys because it's going to be the most contrasted portion. I'm going to go where the shapes are, okay? So I'm going to drop it down to about right here, okay? And then I'm going to take that top and I'm going to just slightly get thicker. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing right over here. Take the top and I'm going to go into this other one because they come in together. And this one is a little more curved. It comes like that. Okay. And then this bottom to give it some variety can slant a little bit down. You have to just go back with your paintbrush and get more paint when it's not coming. Okay. And then you can fill in the rest. Okay. And then this tiny little poke comes right below where this is. Okay. And then your boat needs to come out just a little bit. I'm sorry about the noise. Okay. And then come in to about right here. So further and then be flat on the bottom. Okay. I'm going to pull up right here. And then you go ahead and you sign your work. I'm going to sign it with this metallic pen. All right, and this painting will be available on my website for sale. You can also start collecting my artwork by becoming a patron. And one of the tiers is collector. You're done. Thank you so much for painting with me. I had a great time. I hope that you did too. I hope you learned a lot. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it if you enjoyed this video and want more art lessons. And hit that like button and leave me any comments, questions you have, um, and tell me if you like this tutorial. If you want to learn more, there are art lessons that you can get. Go ahead and click right here and become a Create Floor Art member to get those. And also you get reference photos and we do live videos. Also, if you want to watch some more videos, go ahead and click right here and I will see you really soon. Bye!